Today we're gonna talk about white balance and why some photos look cringe on camera while some look awesome. If you watch this video till the end, you'll have two free secret ways of how to nail the white balance every time regardless where you are. But first, what is white balance? White balance is the process of ensuring that your camera sees exactly what you're seeing with your eyes, same colors. The colors can be a bit more desaturated than what you're seeing with your eyes. That this comes from another reason that we we'll won't cover in this specific video. When the colors are too off, they could be either too green, too orange, too blue, too purple, stuff like this. Most cameras have an auto white balance, which somehow for beginners, it's good, far from perfect, but it's good. What happens It's your camera reads the environment and chooses the best settings for these specific lightning conditions that the camera is seeing. However, this is not perfect and sometimes can go quite wrong because there's some different factors which the setting depends on, like quality of the light, if the light is an LED one or a halogen. So let's check out some other settings for white balance so that we can level up one step to preaching perfection. Another white balance option is to use preset settings that match your specific lightning condition. If you're shooting indoors and you're having incandescent lightning conditions, then you can choose the incandescent preset. If you're outside in the shade, you can use the shade. These presets basically help you learn more about lightning conditions and implicitly all about white balance. Because once you're able to recognize in which lightning conditions you're using and what type of preset would you use, then you're already one step forward. Your third white balance option is Kelvin. It's a measurement of temperature in Kelvin and it's basically the most accurate way in setting your white balance. For this, you would need to use a custom white balance setting on your camera. You can always use a gray card or a color chart in order to set the colors right. Or you could use these two settings that I told you about that we'll dive in right away. First one is by using a white piece of paper. For that, you would need to set your camera to custom white balance. So how is this setting working? You put the piece of paper exactly as you see it right now in front of the camera. You then set the white balance to custom, you expose correctly, and then you shoot. And the camera will see this white piece of paper and depending on from where is the lightning coming, what type of quality of light you're having and any other settings which will be impacting this piece of paper, the camera will read the color and set it accurately for the whole environment. So this was the first method on how I'm always setting my white balance. And since it's a piece of paper, you can always have it with you in your backpack, purse, luggage, whatever. It's like you can carry it with you everywhere. Second option is these white lens caps, which act like a filter. You screw it in front of the lens and then you set the white balance to custom again. Shoot, firstly expose correctly, shoot. And then the camera will read the colors through this specific lens cap and it'll set an accurate temperature uh, Kelvin which you'll use for that specific setting. What's very important to know about this is that whenever you're doing this either with a white piece of paper or uh, with a lens cap, you need to expose correctly. Because if you're underexposed, it means that the colors will also be darker and the camera will read darker colors. So it will try and compensate or set these uh, colors to the accurate ones. And afterwards, if you're exposing correctly, then the colors have already changed so you won't have same values and it won't apply correctly again. I hope I really made it more clear for you and now you understand how white balance works, what it is and how to set it correctly in every single environment that you're shooting. Keep in mind that if you're moving the camera left or right, you would need to reanalyze. So basically redo the whole work for setting the white balance because you don't know in the new scene how the quality of light is or how is it impacting or if maybe there's a new color which is popping around and things are changing. So for every single scene that you're shooting, you need to readjust your white balance. 
don't forget to like and subscribe to this video and i'll see you in the next one peace